Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, November 18th, and we got lots of forms going on. Since they got most of the beams done yesterday, they have just the center beams left. So, not too bad. They did a lot in one day. They still got some more buckles going on. Anyway, so let's go take a look around and see what everyone is doing. All right, some buckles being made. These will be the last one once he gets done. I'm sure today they'll get all the uh, roof beams done. Well made up and put in place and they just have to put all the forms in. One of our last days of bending the buckles. And some forms being made. I would suspect again, like uh, yesterday, they probably have a couple different workstations making forms since uh, that's the main thing and it takes a lot longer than doing the, um, those beams, the roof beams. And they're putting in these lines for air vents. All right, these guys are hooking in this roof beam. I've actually got, <laughs> man, they're cruising right along. I got most of them uh, put in already. We'll uh, do a little walk around with these, but uh, also in this room, I'm being told, <laughs> I was calling this, this uh, PVC here, the two inch PVC, that it's a uh, air vent, but uh, that is our main distribution for our electrical for the upstairs. So it's gonna come from downstairs up here through this line. And here we go, some more of the roof beams. So all of this is new. Wasn't here yesterday. All these sections that they got in here. Uh, just the outsides they had done and I think one they were working on this one right here. Yeah. Sun is out today. It is hot. We're going for a ride today. I'm looking for some stuff at all home. I was going to shop around a little bit. You guys are measuring out. The wall make the next section, which I'm sure they already know how much they need extra on the two sides to connect. Yeah, they're cruising. They'll have it all done and they'll just have to form, which uh, that takes a while. So Isel is getting ready. She brought her paint over here. So what's going to be water and what's going to be electrical outlets in each room. And we're starting over here with a washing machine. I'm waiting on her. She's trying to find out the standard height of you know the electrical and the water spigot so i sell is measuring out the water spigot she's using blue of course for water but later on we only have two colors so she's going to use it for switches too later <laughs> but uh she's using 66 centimeters Yes, 66 centimeters height, which is like the normal for the water spigots. It's, it's supposed to be 60 from the tiles. So we have the six centimeters uh, for the packing and the tile this is the extra for it. All right, so this is what they did for this little section I was talking about yesterday. And there was just a little, I don't know, probably probably three, four feet 
in here that that was short so um, they did a oddball splicing right here i don't even know if it's really a splicing because usually they bend them bend the rebars in there but it is just for the roofing so i'm not sure exactly how that should have went but that's what they did so there is only one group forming and they still have two groups working on the roof beams i guess once they get all the roof beams done see uh once they get all the roof beams done they'll be doing the forming but i just noticed something yesterday i remember how they struggled connecting everything look what they're doing this time this time they're gonna put the rebar up here they got the uh, buckles already and just waiting for the rebar so easy for the uh for them to put it in this time they won't struggle with uh tying everything in like they did yesterday how high are you making these electrical outlets uh, these are switches this is four feet or 120 centimeter then i add a little extra for the tile height so it's probably 124 or 125 so like 125 centimeters this is a lower drop this is not the same level of the room yeah so I was walking along and I seen seen this guy over here. He got a bunch of three-inch nails, and uh, he's bending them back out to reuse. And the crazy thing is, yesterday I came across a big pile of brand new ones uh, downstairs somewhere in the parking area. They'll just keep reusing them until. They can't use them anymore. All right, it is afternoon. The guys have uh, got all of the roof beams done. And now they have started on this for the laborer guys. And they are cleaning out the pool too even. And removing all the cement that's down in there. So this little area is gonna be a wall footing through here. So they don't uh, do like a tie beam they just put hollow blocks down and then that's where they that's uh what they're gonna do do right here to section this little area off this is actually gonna be for us our little storage area and then uh, a little bit of this area is gonna be my special parking and then this section right here is parking and this stuff will be done at a later date all right so all the roof beams are in place oh looking like they're gonna do one more right here not all of them maybe they're just moving people around right now but uh keeping them busy the ones that don't have something to do so some dirt movement's gonna happen <laughs> and it's like another little section right here still needs to be done but for most part looking like if we're cruising right along they might be making something over the bathroom too the way the layout is so you see the dowels sticking out well, just the little little tiny sections I guess they gotta build so more detailed roof beams and let's go look in the back so this section is done and this section is all completed in that area Looks like a little bit of adjustments right here need to be done. And over here, it's all done. So they just have the little couple little tiny uh, runs to do up front. And that will be it. I'm not sure if they're going to run straight across over here. They might be. Yeah, I think so, because I still was pointing to me. 
So I have this section, the section on the back side of it, and then this little section. So almost done, just a little bit uh, left to do on the roof beams. Break is over with for these guys, so they're digging. Show a little bit of work going on this afternoon. Since uh, I went, I did a walk around already, and everybody was at break. So two guys still making the forms, and then one digging. The rest are up top finishing up uh, the roof beams. And if you can tell. I, I noticed that when we walked in, but completely didn't figure out what was missing. The ladder and some uh, the forming up here is all gone. They've cleaned it up, and I think they might be cleaning up this a little bit, but I know they have that section still left to keep for the ladder. All right, everybody, good morning. It is a wonderful Saturday, November 19th. Just got a little bit of rain, so the guys are working under cover right now behind us. And I think they got some still some people up top working on uh, framing up the forms. All right, so they're getting things in here for the parking garage, getting things set up so they can put in the hollow blocks. I was telling these guys, they kept throwing the cement here, the leftovers and all their other stuff. Kept telling them they're gonna have to bust it up. Well, they're having to bust it up now. All right, make putting together some forms right here. And they got this dug out for the hollow blocks. that little section over there too and then this they're gonna actually come back behind the floor beams and uh pressure wash them yeah i'm gonna pressure wash them clean so there's no more dirt on them and then they can start working on putting in some hollow blocks so we got lots of uh five inch hollow blocks I'm not sure if they're gonna put five inches down here or if it's gonna be four inches I know that one's gonna be five inches on the outside, so we'll see how this one goes. We don't have very many four inches, probably like 15, 20 pieces max of the four inches. All right, and last couple of roof beams are still going in, and they are working through the rain, and by the looks of things, where these guys are doing it. All right, and they're forming over here. So now it's looking like we're getting two groups doing forms and one doing the roof beams. Uh, and some chipping going on to fix everything. Unfortunately, two days ago, the... Uh, little jackhammer drill combination I think it had its last life so now they're back to hand chipping everything with a nail and some more chipping going on so they're gonna try to they're gonna move these pipes they're actually supposed to be in the hollow block all right, it is late afternoon. It's been raining since lunch. So pretty much that's what it's been like. <laughs> so they didn't get too much done. They moved some hollow blocks around. They cleaned out a little bit more sections. And they got this all broken down, I guess, chipped out. Other than that, that is it for the afternoon. Oh, and... There is the side of the stairs. They pulled the, the forms off of this a little bit so they can do a little bit of work and get things going. 
All right, that is it for our wonderful video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you uh, liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. And as always, thank you for watching our video and goodbye.